Scribble really has it all. Comprehensive writing tools, editing checklists, character development worksheets, plot visualization tools, subplot visualization tools, an AI book cover generator, and much, much more. This makes Scribble simply the best writing software out there for authors. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use Scribble. Now, after signing up, you'll be brought to your main dashboard page. From here, you can add a new book by clicking on this button here. Simply fill out your book's details to the left, and then over to the right, you can upload your own book cover, or you can create a book cover using our built-in AI book cover generation tool. Now, after being added, your book can be found under the category that you added it to on your main books page here. For instance, here are your novels, your short stories, your poems, and so on. We also have tabs that allow you to create books for your practice writing sessions, your book deconstructions, or your writing collaborations, for example, if you're working with people like co-authors or editors. Now, after adding a book, simply click on its cover to begin writing. Let's start by adding a new chapter by clicking on this button here. Now, from here, we can manually add a chapter by giving our chapter a title, selecting the chapter's plot point, ranking our chapter's tension score, assigning this chapter to an act, and then writing a short summary about the chapter down here. Now we can click on this chapter over in the left sidebar and start writing. However, you can also use Scribble's built-in 24 chapter book template. To use this template, first let's delete this chapter here and now we'll click on add chapter. Now we'll click on add template and then we'll select use template. Now you'll notice that our book has been populated with 24 chapters of placeholder story structure. Now each chapter within this template is generic and was designed to help you structure your story. Now from here, you can simply go through the same process of writing your book. Just simply click on a chapter and then start writing. Notice that as you write, your word count will update over in the right sidebar. This entire right sidebar contains important stats about your chapter level progress. This section shows you how far along your chapter is. You can see your chapter word count, word count target, which you set when you first created this chapter, estimated pages, and reading time in minutes. You'll also see your chapter summary down here. So the right sidebar is really focused on chapter level progress. The top bar up here tracks your overall book level progress. This gives you both the zoomed in as well as the zoomed out perspective on your book's progress. Here you'll see your overall word count, your word target, your total pages, as well as your total reading time. In the right sidebar, you'll also see this option here for distraction free writing, which allows you to just focus on the text editor. Or if you want to work on the main writing page, but you need more space, you can always collapse this left sidebar by clicking on this icon here. Now back over in the right sidebar, you'll also notice a scratch pad, which you see here, which is where you can add any ideas that you have about your book. This allows you to keep your notes organized, but off to the side. Beside that, we have a chapter checklist. Now notice that each checklist item ranges from D1 to D6. D stands for draft. So this is draft one, uh, draft two, draft three, and so on. Once you complete a checklist item, you can simply mark it as complete here. Now, if you're not sure what a checklist item is or what it means, you can simply click on the text to learn more about that specific checklist item. Now these checklist items are laid out in sequential order and for the most part should be completed from top to bottom. This is because your first and second draft edits will be more focused on story structure and character development. It's only during later drafts where you'll need to get more technical with your edits and focus on things like spelling and grammar. Now, beside this section, we have our cut note section. Now, this is where you can temporarily cut and paste a section from your chapter that you're not really sure what to do with. So rather than just deleting it from your chapter altogether, you can cut it and then paste it here and then revisit it later on. Now, in the left sidebar, you'll see all of your chapters. You can filter the chapters that show up here by act by using this drop down here. Now, notice that chapters within each act are color coded a specific color. Now, if you don't want to view a large list of chapters like I have here, you can just minimize the chapters by clicking on this button here. This allows you to view more of your chapters at a glance. Now, the icon here you see represents the plot point and you can roll over the icon to see this chapter's plot point. Similarly, the plot point can be seen here on the plot card. You can edit each chapter at any point by clicking on this button or delete a chapter by clicking on this button here. Now, some authors like to write scenes rather than chapters. So to do this, simply mark the beginning of your chapter by clicking on this small icon here. Now your chapter card will be darker, indicating the start of a new chapter. Then let's imagine this chapter has three scenes. Think of it as chapter 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. Then chapter two comes in here. 
so we'll mark this icon here as well. Now this shows us the start and stop point of each chapter and the scenes contained within those chapters. Now when taking this approach, be sure to use decimals when adding chapters. So if you're adding a scene with a chapter, simply add the appropriate decimal place here. For example, chapter 1, 1 would be chapter 1, scene 1, chapter 1, 1.2 would be chapter 1, scene 2, and so on. We'll get into some of the other tools in upcoming tutorials, but let me introduce you to a few other tools that you'll find on your main writing page here. So clicking on this button allows you to add characters to your chapter. You can add characters to your book by clicking on people and places in the sidebar. But once you have those characters added, you can associate those characters with a specific chapter here. Similarly, we have some AI tools built into Scribble. Here, for example, you could get Scribble to rewrite or reimagine a paragraph for you. For instance, if you've written a paragraph and you want to have it rewritten by AI, you simply add your paragraph here, select the style that you want it rewritten in, and then you click on this button here. Scribble will then rewrite your paragraph for you. Or if you want to use AI for general writing help, you can click on this button here. For example, imagine you're struggling to come up with some strong verbs for running quickly. You could simply ask the AI, what are five strong verbs for running quickly? And then you'll get your answer down here. Okay, so far we've only covered the writing pad page. Now we have many more tools built in, which we cover in other tutorials over on our YouTube channel. For instance, we have a key steps worksheet, which allows you to map out your entire story before you even start writing. We have tension flow tools, which allow you to see your story's tension progression chapter by chapter. We have a character development tool, which allows you to use AI to create character avatars to represent your characters. And we also have a comprehensive character development worksheet, which allows you to design deeply engaging characters with full backstories, story arcs, and so on. We also have built in world building tools, which allow you again to use AI to create the images associated with your worlds. And then we have world building tools that allow you to sketch out the details of that world. We also have built in plot visualization tools, which allow you to see your entire story at a glance from one single easy to navigate page that is broken down into story acts. You can also color code each chapter based on that chapter's progress or subplot details. You can also link chapters together based on things like subplot. Here, for example, I can view only the chapters relating to my love story subplot. To add a subplot, I can simply click on this plot card here and then add my subplot over in the sidebar here. And then over on my subplots page, I can see all of my subplots here. We also have writing productivity tools built into Scribble and much, much more. So if you want to sign up and take Scribble for a test drive, a link to Scribble can be found in the description below.